Okay. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for joining for our second session. I know we had an amazing first session this morning, so I am very eager to get going and to see what we're able to build together and create in this session with my good friend David from LEGO. So we have teachers. We were just talking before we got started on the recording. We have students and teachers joining from all over the world. They've been entering in the chat box with the countries that they're joining from. We have students who are still in school. It's daytime for them. And then some others who are joining and they're already getting ready for bed. So thank you everyone for being with us and for joining in the past five weeks as part of the Climate Action Project. Kun and I have had so much fun working with classrooms and learning from each of you about ways you want to take action for our planet. So we are seeing students who are inventing, they're creating advocacy campaigns, they are creating theater productions, and they're working with students from all around the world in this collective moment where we really believe teachers and students are gonna help us to achieve SDG 13, which as you all know, is climate action. So as part of our climate action project, as we're racing towards climate action day on November 4th, we have been able to bring some really special experiences to our teachers and students. And we are thrilled this week to bring to you the team from LEGO who have been working at climate change and taking action for the planet and for people for a very long time. So I know they make a lot of important decisions, even on things when they're building out their characters and when they're building out their products with kids in mind. And so we have a special opportunity this week where you'll be able to work with your teachers to build the change. So we're all about building and learning and growing because as we know, it's about taking action. So today we're gonna take action in our session that hopefully will gear you up for some of the work that you're gonna be doing in your classrooms with your teachers. To share a little bit more on that and to get you to dive in to take action and start building right away, as I hear, I haven't seen this surprise that you have coming, but I've heard a little bit about it. I'm going to turn it over to our amazing friend and play, David from Lego. So hi, David. Thanks for being with us today. Oh, my goodness. It's so, what a welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. That's lovely. I love being called amazing every day like let's have this meeting i just hear that that's that that gets me motivated but yeah so good to be here jen super excited to to see what's going to happen this week um i i i'm very lucky to to work in an area where i'm super passionate about um this area that we're working so it's not just a job for me it's way more than that and i've been working with children for for 20 years now and you guys rock I mean, I, I don't tell anyone, but I prefer working with children than adults. I think, you know, grownups, you know, can be, you know, children, you guys have got amazing ideas and you rock and, and you give me so much energy and you give my team so much energy. So it's so great to, to do things like this. So I have some slides to show you and, and we're not gonna get, um, you know, bogged down in, in too much detail because this is a real mixed crowd, but there are educators on here too. Hello, educators. I love you guys too. I used to be one uh, and uh, hopefully still am one in some way, but um, the work you do is incredible. Uh, every day working, shaping young minds for the future. But this presentation I'm gonna give you today is gonna be, um, I think, a call to action. So we're not gonna do the workshop necessarily during this hour, but we are gonna set you up to do the challenge that I'm going to set you. So do feel free to start creating things as I'm going through stuff. And I saw some people online have bricks and stuff ready, which is awesome. Um, but I'm going to start with a little introduction to me. Uh, I was asked to do that and I'm always happy to talk about my passions. So let's see, let's have a few slides. Now, Jen, we had a few tech issues earlier today. Let's hope that it works. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Share. Hopefully it's looking less good people. so far. Yeah. Is that looking good? Is it up? It um, looks like it's thinking. We see a screen that's shared and on my end right at this moment, it's it's in. Yep. I see green build the change. 
I thought you were going to sing it. I see. <laughs> no, but, I see. Feel the change. <laughs> <laughs> we had we had tech difficulties earlier today, where it's just a black screen, and uh, no one knew what was going on. Anyway, here we go. Build the change. My name is da -da, David Palash, and I work on global programs and partnerships in the Lego Group. It's uh, been over six years now. I've been here, and I still pinch myself every day. I was a huge Lego. Um, not when I was younger. I loved it. I loved the creativity it brings. And to be working with a company I, I love is a real treat. And I hope all of you get to experience that in the future or are experiencing that now. But yeah, so this is me. Um, this is on the left is me in the Lego group, um, often having to tame horses. Uh, that's one of my roles. And then on the other side is my other massive passion, which I've had since I was younger than many of you on this call uh, since I was five or six, uh, and that's nature and the natural world. So I'm in a really nice position now where I can bring those together. So my, my passion for nature, my passion for education, and my passion for creativity and, and the Lego brick is all kind of come together in my role, which is pretty awesome. But this is some of my, my, my personal stuff. Um, Cohen thought it'd be cool to share. So, I am outside of work. I do a lot of voluntary conservation work, especially around birds. So if you like birds, put something in the chat, let me know, because birds are really outside of work, my world, and outside of my family, my world. Don't, don't, family first, of course. But birds are a huge passion of mine and research around birds. So I do a lot of bird ringing, monitoring, migration. Uh, we do it on sites where I live in the UK and I also travel um, to places. Recently, I was in Gibraltar, uh, just below Spain, doing some ringing there as birds fly back to Africa, which was really cool. So a lot of birds, a lot of reptiles, a lot of mammals. I love all that stuff. And I also take a lot of photos. So I do a lot of photography um, out there. So when I talk about biodiversity today, please know it's coming from uh, a very, very, heartfelt place because I really care about um, this, this space. And I really care about young people being connected with the natural world and with sustainability. It's never been more important. And you guys know that. And I'm speaking to the choir here. Right, so you heard there's gonna be a warm up. So I'm just gonna do a little swap now. So I have to change screens so bear with me da, da, da. this is the the less uh the less smooth part of the workshop here we go uh, uh, uh. and hopefully you can see my screen so if you could all grab your smart devices your smartphones your cameras if you can grab those if you don't have those i'll give you another option in a second but get your cameras on and I'm going to show you a QR code in a second. One sec, here we go. Send to full screen. And then hopefully you can all see that. So when you have your phone, put it up to do the QR code. You know what to do with QR codes. Open that up. And hopefully, if you can still see me on the camera, ooh, it will come up with something like da, 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 this. So connecting. I think you can see Jen showing it as well. Good. If you can't use the QR code, just type in that really, really simple <laughs> web address at the bottom there. It's not simple. OK, so once you got on there, I can see Sophia, you have it on there. That's brilliant. You can start quacking. So once you once you go on, you can build a duck. So I want you all to build a duck and the instructions are on your phone or tablet whatever you've got. So jump on there. And if you don't have a smartphone, please feel free to draw it, uh, sculpt it, get some clay, make a duck, take a picture of it and put it in the chat while we're doing this. So if everyone's OK to start, I'm just going to take it off this screen and like that. And then build your ducks. And we shall start seeing them, hopefully, appear in this space. Now, we haven't done this with many people yet, 
So you're some of the first people to try this experience online. We've got our first duck. <laughs> so, <coughs> oh my goodness, look, they're all arriving. Look at that. That's fantastic. Look at this. We've got five ducks now. We want more ducks, six ducks. We're up to six ducks. Let's see how many we can get. We'll, we'll stay on here for a minute or so. So there is a little bit of time pressure if you are building online on this experience. Oh, I, I love these. I love these. Look at this. Fantastic. They're all coming in now. Look at that. Jen, isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? I love it. Oh, it's great. I was trying to perfect my duck, but. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take too long perfecting it. Don't worry too much. Uh, <laughs> and look at all these. Now, my end, I have a lot of sound of duck. I deliberately didn't put that on your uh, screen because it got very noisy last time when we had over 100 ducks. Quacking. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And I just saw on there, David, that you can toggle between 2D and 3D. So it gave me different like ways of viewing my build too. Oh yeah. It's That's super cool. cool. Super, cool. It. super cool. We're just going to give it another minute or so still many coming through. Now have a look at those ducks. Have a look at all of them. And I can't see the chat right now, but in the chat, maybe tell us what you notice about them. And when I come off of the screen, I'm going to see all your answers. What do you notice about all of these ducks when you look at them? So put that in the chat. Oh, I love it. Love it. This is creativity and action. Look at that. Look at, I'm trying to keep my words careful so I don't give away what I really notice about them. <laughs> really. I'm watching the chat too, David. So. Oh, thanks, Jen. Yeah, thank you. I'll share as they come in. I just typed my answer. I said, I love that they're all different. There's no right answer. Wow. Anyone else agree with Jen? Uh, we have Ipsha said they are all different. Woo! That's a great um, answer, Ipsha. The Sheeta. Everyone has different and creative ways to do one particular thing. Wow. Can we copyright that sentence? <laughs> right? That's excellent. My goodness. That's like the perfect description. Oh, wow. They're still coming in, but that's slower now. I think most people who have been able to do it have done it. Do be sure to share any drawings you've done if you haven't been able to do it. But look at that so i think we can stay on this for uh, a couple more seconds and just let you know that again i think that the last couple answers that came through are exactly right this was the same task for all of you you had the same tools you had the same challenge the same constraint but you all came up with different answers look at that variety now, some of you would think, many people would think, if you gave everyone six bricks and asked them to build a duck, they would all build pretty much the same duck, right? Well, this shows that that is not true at all. I think this is amazing. Well done, everyone. But we're going to have to jump off this now to carry on. I hope all of you managed to upload. Do upload, keep, up, keep building and uploading. It'll still go on there. Uh, and I'll keep it well done, well done. Right, I'm going to move off that now. And just uh, oh, one second. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to share something with you all later. So, I actually managed to get a PDF downloaded of all your builds. So, I'm going to put that in the chat later so you can all have a little memento. Now let's get back to sharing. Uh, where were we? So we were on this one. Okay, back in the room, fingers crossed it comes up. And slowly speak until it comes up. There we go. Are we back? Great, thanks Jen. So as you saw, we came up with tons of different ducks. 
But here's a little secret and young people out there, this is, this is pretty amazing. And I think you can use this fact when you're with, um, with grownups, you can say, hey, we just built a duck, but do you know how many skills we used? We used at least 24 different skills when we did that. Isn't that amazing? 24 skills. There's long-term memory. I think all of us remembered what a duck looks like, which was good. There was imagination. There was fine motor skills, building the duck. Even if you drew the duck, you're using those skills. Mental rotation, spatial visualization. Wow, there's a lot of stuff there. And you only had six bricks to do that. So that's pretty amazing. Well done, all of you. Now, what are we up to in the Lego group? Now, you might be wondering, Lego group, sustainability, you guys make a lot of plastic bricks. Yes, we do. And we know that. We know that plastic, not all plastic is, is the same level, I, I might, might add. You know, we have certain types of plastic that really should be eradicated as soon as possible. And then we have other types of plastic which are needed in society and things in medicine, etc. But we also have companies like Lego who are trying to break into new ground and find new ways to make new materials. So I just wanted to show you uh, a little clip of everything we were doing at the, at the Lego group, not just in environmental sustainability, but also social sustainability. So social, social and environment, as you know, are very interlinked and we can't have success in one without the other. So have a little look at this and then we'll come back into the room. Here we go. I hope you enjoyed that. We haven't shown that to many people outside the company. So I asked if I could and they said yes. So I was very, I'm very happy to share that with you. That's just an overview. So it looks like hopefully to you that Lego is a fun place to, to work. And it is, I have to say, but it's also a very ambitious place to work. And we have a lot to do, especially on the sustainability agenda. But you can see some of our, uh, the starts of our journey in some of those clips, especially around what materials we're going to replace uh, in the near future and longer term across our portfolio. To add to that, just one thing, you may know the, the plant elements, if you can see my camera, 
you know, you have all these plant elements in Lego sets. And there's one here as well, all these lovely plants. Now, these are already, they're the first plastic that we've replaced with a sustainable plastic. So this is made from sugarcane based plastic, which is pretty incredible. So we've removed oil largely from these and we hope to do similar things in the future. So I know that came up in the last session and I just want you to know that we are on it and we, we really wanna succeed and we're gonna share it with the world and bring people with us. Anyway, <laughs> what is Build the Change? So Build the Change is why we're here today. And it's a program that, that is very close to my heart. This is why we're here. This is, this is what we want you to do this week. It's part of the Build the Change program. And let's have a little look at what it is. So Build the Change, it is our longest running community program, but it's largely been event-based for 12 plus years. So we haven't had stuff happening online. We haven't had resources that you could, you could access, et cetera. But that's all changing. We are going online. We're going, we're working with partners more. We're becoming a lot bigger and we want to reach even more children. We want to reach 1 million children way more frequently than over 20, 12 years. So we're very excited to, to bring some new content to you today. Um, and Build the Change is pretty much a really simple process. Here it is, look, and I'm even on the slides. Someone put me in there, which is really funny. Uh, that's, that's how I teach. Uh, the, the Build the Change experience is super, 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 super simple. We have a real world topic. So today it's sustainability. This week, you're gonna be looking at that. You've been looking at it for, for many weeks now. We're gonna immerse you in that topic. And then we want everyone to build and create their solutions to the challenge. And then really importantly, we want you to display and share them with us. Because I think one thing the Lego group want to do more of is we want to be children's megaphone. You know, those megaphones that people shout through and be really loud. We want to be that for children. We want your ideas to come to us and then we can shout them into, uh, not, in, not too close into the faces of, of grown-ups. that'd be a bit rude, but very close to them so they can hear us. <laughs> very, very close, especially to world leaders, decision makers, and people who can actually start making an impact. And we hope that you want to, you're excited by that and want to help us out. Good, right, let's have a look. This is just a little bit of what I've just spoken about. A lot of writing on that page, so I'm going to move on. And this is a little introduction from Leo and Linda, our characters in Build the Change. Maybe some of you saw this last year, but let's have a little watch of this. Here we go, one second. Okay. They should. This is so cool. Now put that there. This one? Yes. And put it on top of the yellow brick. Like this? Don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Linda, they found us! <laughs> what took you so long? But I thought this was our secret place, Linda. It is, together with them. You see, Leo, you and I can't build the change ourselves. We need their help. Oh, that's right. We need your help. Build the Change is all about developing and sharing ideas between each other and to the whole world. You know, problem solving actual real world challenge. Like getting up in time for school. No, 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 no. Think a lot bigger. A whale? <laughs> no, but it actually could be. You mean like the planet? Like the earth? The environment? Where we live? Exactly. Your imagination can actually be used to make the world a better place. Your builds can help make where we live greener. They can help save animals and even make people's lives better and more fun. How cool is that? And you know what? Our ideas need to be heard, don't they? Your build a change ideas are going to be heard. You see, when all of our great ideas from around the world come together, the grown-ups, the leaders, the ones making actual decisions will have to listen. They will see and hear all your great ideas and use them to make a positive change. Yes, yes, yes. Because your ideas are awesome, you are a great change maker. Before we dig into today's subject, we want to know one thing. 
Are you ready to build the change? Let's go! Linda and Leo, they are lovely. We love they should. Let's not watch it again. That'd be a bit too much. Um, Leo and Linda there with a very strong message. And we can't wait to see where Leo and Linda take us in the future. There's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes that I wish I could tell you, but it's top secret. But there, there is a lot of stuff coming in 2022. And we can't wait to, to share it with you. But today we are all about climate action project and build the change. So how are the two things linking up? I hear you ask. Um, I'm sure you're asking that. I can't hear you, but I'm, that's what you're asking, right? Good. How are they? How are they linking up? So we've kind of tailored some content for you guys. Um, so educators out there, we have made two different options. Um, we have a single session project, which we've taken from our broader educator pack. Uh, and that's really when you're working with a group for uh, one time this week, for example. And you might need 60 to 90 minutes for that. Or if you're working throughout the week and you have a lot of more time on your hands, you could look at the three to four session project. And that is just a lot more depth, a few more case studies, and it's, it's great fun too. Both have advantages, so please feel free to choose what's right for you. Now, I think I'll show you this one because inside those packs, inside those decks, those PDFs, there are links to things like video. So the video you just saw and other videos, I'll show you a, a very short clip later of another one. We have some polls. Now, when you answer these polls, it gives you a response from everyone around the world. So you can see how everyone's answered that question and discuss why things might be different where with what you've answered. So a lot of discussions to be had in the classroom or at home around what you see through those polls. And of course, there are quizzes too. Now we're not testing you, but it's a good way to make sure we've all understood what we've heard. So we do have little quiz questions in there for educators to use. And importantly, at the end, there is a way to share a really fail safe way there's a link with, from that QR code where you can share your builds, or you can send it to us at build.the.change at lego.com. Either way is okay. But I'll tell you now, if you do, please do share. But when you do, please try and keep your faces out of the photos because then we can definitely use them uh, straight away. And that makes our life a lot easier. Thank you for that. Good, right, what's the next slide? Now I wanna just give you a quick overview of the project. You're probably wondering, okay, David, this is all great, hopefully, um, but what's, you know, what do you want us to do this week? And this is what I want you to do, really simple, three steps. I want you to choose a species that you would like to help in their fight against climate change. Now, don't think about it. You don't have to think about it now. That's a big question. There are so many out there, I mean, there's, there's a lot of different species to choose from. But try and think of some that maybe you, you know a little bit about or you want to do some research about and something maybe that's close to you. Maybe you've experienced them. Maybe you've seen that species where you live. It could be an animal, could be an insect, it could be a plant. It doesn't have to be something with four legs or six legs or eight legs. It can be a plant as well. But just try and think of something that you are that you're really interested in because that will drive your learning experience of course the second one once you've got that species think about what you could create to help it so then you start creating it then you start building it then you draw it you construct it however you want to build or create that solution to help that species is up to you of course I have a lot of Lego bricks at home, but not everyone else does. Use what you have. I love drawing as well. A lot of people asked in the, in the previous session, you know, can I draw my solution? Absolutely. We love drawings. We do a lot of that kind of work as well. So please don't feel constrained if you don't have any Lego bricks handy. 
absolutely fine. We are all about any material here. It's all about learning through play. So we cannot um, expect you to have that. So the last one is, as I said, share a photo and the little description, the little story of your creation with us. Uh, you can share it with us or with TAG. There are ways to share it in the, in the PDFs, um, but be sure not to send photos with your faces in uh, as that makes our lives easier. Good, that's the project. That's just the beginning. Let me show you some of the materials in the deck. Let's have a little look. One second, I'm gonna have to do stop share and then share again because Zoom and Teams still haven't worked out a way <laughs> to help us, help us folks with that transition. Here we go. Just gonna share this. Dun, dun, dun. Can everyone see? Jen, can you see? Great, I can see, oh, I can see thumbs up. Good, so if you can see, good. So this is just an example of the, uh, the first session for Build the Change. If you're doing a four session or three or four session workshops, I'm just going to zoom through this, but there are things like the video, the intro. There are also, can I just show you this? We have speaker notes for each slide for educators. So it gives you a little bit of uh, guidance on, I'm sure you're more than capable of, of leading through, but it's just a few tips and tricks um, to ask the children, accept it, ask the young people, and some links as well in case the, the slides don't work. But let's get back to this. So we have things like the poll, we have another poll here, and we have awesome words introductions. Some of you may be new to some of these words. And we have the focus. So I mentioned the number of species on the planet, right? It's 8.7 million. And 1 million of them are facing extinction. Why? Why is this happening? I'm sure you all feel the frustration I feel when I see those numbers. So let's do something about it. Let's show we care. I'll just show you this little video. So this is an introduction um, to specifically global warming, which as we all know, is a big part of climate change. So let's have a look, little look at this and let's click on here. Global warming is the process of our planet heating up. The atmosphere is like a big blanket of greenhouse gases which protect Earth. But scientists are worried that some of the things that humans do are adding too many greenhouse gases, which is making the Earth warmer. This means that wildlife all over the world is facing a big challenge. At the poles with polar animals. Polar animals live in the North Pole, the Arctic, and the South Pole, the Antarctic. They are cold places because they don't get any direct sunlight. In the Arctic, polar bears live on the sea ice. There is no land in the Arctic. It's a bit like you living on an ice cube floating in a glass of water. Polar bears need the sea ice so they can hunt for food, raise their young and rest. What is happening? As Earth is getting warmer, it means that the ice in polar areas is melting. And this makes the places where animals live smaller. Scientists believe that the Arctic Sea is melting at a shocking rate. 9% every 10 years. Imagine your ice cube floating in a glass of water. It's getting smaller. This means that many polar animals' lives are in danger because it's harder for them to hunt for food, find shelter and breed. How are humans helping? To help slow down how quickly sea ice is melting, scientists have had lots of interesting ideas. These include building underwater walls that prop up sheets of ice and making tunnels under ice to make it thicker. They are thinking of spreading tiny beads of glass across the Arctic ice to reflect any sunlight because this helps to keep the ice frozen. Wow! But there are also lots of things we can do at home to look after our world and help slow down climate change. This will help to protect polar animals and their habitats. Great. Uh, not great that, that we have to make videos where things are suffering like that, but great that we can talk to people like yourselves on those important topics. Um, we have similar videos like that in the case studies, which I'll get to in a minute. I won't show them all, but please do have a little watch of them. Um, and for many of you, a lot of that content, if you're an older child, an older young person, then that's of course not new for you, but hopefully it was um, fun to watch. Good, so there's a lot of time to reflect and discuss. We really want people discussing these types of things and time to create. 
of course, as well. So in, the, in this session, it builds, I think the three to four sessions, what's important with these is it builds the scaffolding up for the big challenge in the final session. So these are all, this is an introduction. We have two case studies that you can do as separate sessions and then a big one. But if you don't have time for that, there's the single session, which is also available. And this is what it looks like here. So you can download that and do it in a single session. It's all kind of very similar, but a little crammed together for time's sake. Good, let me show you the quiz questions at the end, but let me show you a, an example of, uh, let me zoom back here. This is a case study deck. So this is a PDF on bees and other insects. So the focus is on bees and pollinators. So there's a lot of content here um, for you to explore. There's a nice video as well. Uh, and again, this with the case studies, we want you to create something specific to that case study. So it's all about insects and bees in this one. Um, it might be that for the big challenge at the end, you want to do bees again and develop something. And that's absolutely fine too. That's really cool. So a lot there to get on with. This is the final session. This is really quite straightforward. Um, the big challenge, and I've already told you what it is, choose a species you want to help and create something to protect it from the impacts of climate change. And then in this deck, this is the final one, time to write your description, time to share. And then for educators out there, this is the link where you can upload these ideas, these beautiful ideas that everyone's gonna come up with. And what are we gonna do with those ideas? Well, that's a good question. I, want, I would like to share that this year at COP26, we have created a, you know, when you get a Lego set, you get instructions inside. So we've created Lego instructions with leaders on how to make the world a better place. And those have come from workshops around the globe, uh, maybe you took part in one of those, but it's one way of how we are going to world leaders and saying, listen, please involve children, please listen to their ideas more. They have amazing ideas. And I know educators out there, you totally agree with that, um, I'm sure. So we are super keen to take all of these ideas and showcase them. So in, next year, we will start developing uh, a gallery for anyone who's interested in being inspired by children to visit and to get inspiration to make the world a better place. So let me just jump back to the do One second. I'm just checking if I actually need to jump back. So you've already had the challenge. Um, and what we would like to provide you all with, I'm gonna stay off PowerPoint now and see all of your wonderful faces. Now, the, the great thing about um, this is if you guys take part, we have created a special certificate which will get sent out to you uh, when you complete or when you share those. So Jen and Cohen uh, at the project are gonna help us with getting those to you. So please do get involved. Um, excellent, Jen. I think we are kind of at the end of, of my presentation. Um, I kind of open up to questions and stuff now. People want to put questions. Is that is that okay, Jen? Fantastic. Yes. And I should let you know, David, as you were sharing, I think we had some of our students who did some prep work because we we saw some sharing of facts and figures about Lego, like how many Legos would it take to get to stack up to get to the moon, who created Legos how many different types of bricks there are. So I think we've had some students who have really been doing their homework in preparation for today's session. Wow. So I know, it's quite impressive. Yeah. And we will of course be sharing today's recording too. So I'm excited to share that out. Definitely. And so I can answer some of those questions if we want. Should we start, do we have some ready? Let's see. So. Okay. We're back in time. We have a lot of people saying thank you, appreciating the time. A, a lot of friends here who love Lego. <laughs> so oh. a lot of big fans. Um, you mentioned COP26. So I dropped the link to COP26. Maybe David, you want to share with the, the teachers and students yeah. here who aren't yet familiar with COP26 and what that will be about? 
Totally. So Climate Change Conference, also known as COP26, is happening. It's kicking off this Sunday and it's going until November 12th in Glasgow in Scotland. They're kind of partnering with Milan as well in Italy. But it, the big thing is happening in Glasgow and it's where all the world leaders are coming to discuss reducing the impact. I'm trying to choose my words there. Reducing the impact that we are having on the environment, especially around climate change. So as you probably know, it's very difficult for, for all of us to, to, to make changes around climate change, but we need to get together and do more. And this is what they hope to do at this meeting. So we really hope the outcome of COP26 is decisions from prime ministers, presidents, everyone around the world, leaders around the world, decisions on how we can reduce the impact of climate change, reduce global warming, and keep the planet to at least 1.0 degrees Celsius. So that is the challenge. So people like Lego, we're going to be up there. I'm traveling up on Sunday. I'm going to be waving children's <laughs> ideas back, left, right, and center, making sure that people are listening, listening to you guys and value the, the input from children more. So that's, that's COP26. Do watch out for stuff. We're, we're also launching uh, something from Lego Group quite exciting later this week. So watch out for that. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. And so I know that you'll be joining back with us on November 4th for Climate Action Day, which is our big celebration of all of the work that our students and teachers have been doing. So that is next Thursday. Registration's open and Anyone that's joining for the recording, if you have questions for David and his team at LEGO, please feel free to submit those because you might have a chance to share those during the session that day. So I've been dropping the link to all of the resources that David has been sharing with us. So now it's the time for you and your classrooms to get working and you're able to join with Build the Change. As David mentioned, there will be an opportunities for opportunity for teachers to get a special certificate. So we're really excited for that and so grateful that Lego is taking an interest in the ideas of students and teachers and really taking that to a global stage. And we know we believe in that here at the Climate Action Project. So it's been such a pleasure for us to partner with you. And I know, David, you've been with us for quite a while now. This isn't the first time you've joined with yeah. us to share. So thank you. Well, I was, um, my pleasure. I, it's absolutely a joy to work with folks like you guys, um, like-minded people. And yeah, it's, it's, I'm so excited about what we can do together. We need to join forces, right? Everyone needs to work together on this. Can't, can't fix stuff on our own. And okay. thank you for all of the lovely comments in, in the chat. Uh, I love it. I love the fact that you, you guys are all around the world and we're all connecting on this. So wonderful it's wonderful group. Awesome. And yeah, any, were that which Lego questions came through? I can't answer the one on how many elements, but I know there, there's a <laughs> lot. Um, but any questions, just get them to Jen and, and we can answer those for you. We'll be there That's, to support you. That's great. Well, thank you so much. And I love that you all make taking action fun too, because it's important to have a good time while you're doing good things for the planet. So you prioritize play, you prioritize collaboration, and, and we really believe in that too. So, so thank you for being with us today. And thank you to all the teachers and students. As we said at the beginning of our session, a lot of you stayed up very late. So hope you have a good night's sleep after today's session and you can get to work to build tomorrow with your fellow classmates. And Kunin, I thank you so much to all the teachers who were here with us, who are supporting students and I know Kuhn uh, announced in our earlier session that we have a big announcement on Wednesday about some additional speakers who will be joining David for the Climate Action Day celebration next Thursday. So watch for that and we'll be sure to share out the recording. So David, we thank you so much. You always bring so much fun to our sessions and we love to build with you and can't wait for more. Thanks guys. Thank you everyone. See you soon. All right. See you soon everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone. <laughs> <laughs> High fives all around. <laughs> Bye, everyone.